Hi, my name is Dennis. I'm the technical instructor for Ventrac. Today we will be covering the general service of the hydraulic system of your 4500. Following the instructions in your owner's manual, we will go over how to properly check the fluid level of the hydraulic system as well as the rear transaxle. We will also cover how to change your hydraulic fluid and your hydraulic filters. The tools that we will be using today will be a 5 seconds Allen wrench, a 3 16 Allen socket, a 5 16 Allen socket, a ratchet, an 11 16 wrench, oil filter wrenches, our funnel with tube, our 10 micron hydraulic oil filter, our 25 micron hydraulic oil filter, shop towels, our personal protective equipment, thread locker, the Ventrac Hydratorque XL 5W30 full synthetic hydraulic oil, and a drain pan that holds at least 12 quarts. To gain access to our hydraulic oil filters, we need to remove the hydraulic filter access cover. To do this, we will need the use of a 5 seconds Allen wrench. In order to minimize the amount of hydraulic fluid that we lose or spill out of the system, I have already taken and filled both of our replacement filters, lubricated the seals on them, and I've also placed a drip pan under the tractor. Go ahead and use your hydraulic filter wrench to loosen the hydraulic filter. Once your hydraulic filter is loose, you can spin it off by hand. Make sure the old seal is removed and that the outside perimeter is wiped clean of any debris. Now that we've gotten our 10 micron filter installed hand tight, we want to go ahead and use our filter wrench to tighten it one full turn. Now we will repeat this process for the 25 micron hydraulic oil filter. The reason we do the 10 micron oil filter first is because we don't want a bunch of fluid from the 25 micron filter pouring down onto the smaller one and making it difficult to remove it. Now that our 25 micron filter is installed hand tight, we want to tighten it an additional three quarters of a turn. The drain plug for the front transaxle is located underneath the front transaxle. To remove this, we will use our ratchet and our 5 16 Allen socket. And reinstall the drain plug and tighten it down. To fill your hydraulic system, locate the expansion tank, which is underneath the hood in front of the dash. The front transaxle is the hydraulic reservoir for the tractor. When pouring fluid into the expansion tank, you are filling both the hydraulic system and the front transaxle of the tractor. Pay attention to the sight tube while you are filling the tractor to ensure you do not overfill the hydraulic system. Hydraulic oil within the sight tube should be between the high and low indicator marks on the expansion tank. The rear transaxle is not part of the hydraulic system of the tractor. It is, however, filled with hydraulic fluid for lubrication purposes, and this hydraulic fluid does need to be changed at the same service intervals as the hydraulic system. To do this, we will need our ratchet and our 3 16 Allen socket. The drain plug for the rear transaxle is located on the bottom right-hand side of the transaxle. You can access it through the hole that is cut out in the bottom of the skid plate. Once you've drained all the hydraulic oil from the rear transaxle, go ahead and reinstall the drain plug and tighten it down. To check the hydraulic oil level of our rear transaxle, we need to use the open end of our 11 16 wrench to remove the fill plug. Proper hydraulic oil level of the rear transaxle would be at or just below the bottom of the hole for the fill plug. 
To fill the hydraulic fluid in our rear transaxle, we want to go ahead and place a funnel with a tube into the fill port. It takes approximately four and a half quarts to fill the rear transaxle. Before reinstalling our fill plug onto the rear transaxle, we want to clean it and apply thread locker to all but the first two threads of the plug. We want to go ahead and start the tractor and let it run and look for leaks. Go ahead and turn the tractor all the way to the right and to the left a few times to purge any air out of the hydraulic system. Now that we've ensured there are no hydraulic oil leaks, we're going to go ahead and put back our hydraulic filter access cover. Thank you for watching this video on the general service of your 4500 hydraulic system. For detailed instructions, make sure you refer to your owner's manual. For more videos like this, go to ventrack.com support.